Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the TSX and the aftermath of going off the track at the last event. Now of course, the damages that I initially saw was the wheel and tire, definitely. Uh, the front splitter had some damage and the intercooler looked like it might have just got scraped a bit. But after bringing the car home and having a closer look at it, there's a lot more damage than I thought. Now as you can see here, the front splitter is definitely damaged. It's got some minor cuts into it. Uh, even as part of it looks kind of pinched. When the pylon hit the front bumper, I guess the wrap kind of got damaged as well as that block off plate that I made. And the intercooler definitely got hit by the pylon. You can even see some bits of the pylon still left inside. Now all this is not going to set me back that much, but it's still something to fix. This is probably the biggest upset, just the bumper being cracked there and it is fiberglass so so that's not the best thing possible right now. I'll just try to cover that up. Inside the wheel well, the ABS sensor took some damage. That's fine. I already bought a new one and replaced it. And everything else looks fine. Okay, well aside from the damages to the TSX, there's also something else that I wanted to touch on. Uh, that's pretty much how an event like this would go for a driver or any other competitor in any sport actually. So when everything is going well, of course, it's an easy day, it's a great day. But when you have a mistake like this where you go off track and you know, you've got your family there, you've got your friends to support you. I actually had a friend come out to the track for the first time, so it was his first time ever at a track. So when you make a mistake like this, it does affect you, right? Everyone would always want to take away the positives from this, so you can say, okay, yes, the car is initially fine, it's not too bad. I'm obviously physically fine, I wasn't injured or anything in this and I did still set my fastest lap time ever at the track. So that's the positive side of it. And then there's the flip side where it's like, yes, you know, I went off track and I made a mistake and it was my mistake, so it's a bit disappointing. You're gonna have that moment where you kind of put your head down and just think to yourself for a second, like, this could have been better. This could have been a lot better. You know, I'm, I'm constantly on Instagram posting these you know, great quotes or motivational things to try to uplift people's spirit and try to influence everyone. Just be a better person. Be the better person than you were today, than you were last year or the year before. Just keep striving to be better. But I just want to let people know that as much as you try that, you're still going to reflect and still going to have these moments where you dwell on the past or you dwell on your mistakes and it's okay. Uh, you just got to keep pushing forward. Like I said, we're going to rebuild the car fix whatever has to be fixed for the next event and hopefully set out at TMP and again try to set my best lap possible at TMP. So I'll see you guys there on June 25th.